Today, I'll be unboxing and reviewing this titanium auto darkening welding helmet from Harbor Freight. I'll talk about the key features, safety, and price, and I'll do some welding with it, and I'll show you on camera. Let's get this thing out of the box so we can take our first look at it. Here's what comes inside the box. We've got the welding helmet itself. It comes with two batteries, and then it comes with three extra sacrificial outer lens covers. And then we've got the owner's manual. There are a few accessories available that do not come with these helmets. I like to use a magnifying lens. Some people call this a cheater. Mine is a two times magnification. I also like to use an LED light. I put this on my helmet for low light situations. And while I'm glad they send two batteries, the day's gonna come when you're gonna need more batteries. I picked these up off of Amazon. I'll leave affiliate links for these items in the description down below. And if you use them, it'll help out the channel. This thing is pretty lightweight. Let's get it on the scale and we'll see how much it actually weighs. Looks like one pound and 3.6 ounce. That's pretty light. Installing these two batteries looks like it's pretty easy. I've taken the headpiece out so I can show you what I'm talking about. Inside of here, we've got this cartridge. You can see it in the manual here. It just has a lock and unlock slide. And once you slide that thing, Good gravy. this whole cartridge comes right out and those two batteries are located right there. Let's talk a little bit about the controls. I really like the design of this digital display. It's super easy to just press the button and change your shade setting. And then up here you can see, this is your selector switch. This is gonna be from shades five to nine and then nine to 13. The industry standard for a welding helmet is to have shades five through 13 available, which this helmet has. There's also a shade guide chart inside the user's manual. One of the key features I really like about this helmet is that it has an auto shut off, so you don't have to worry about running down your batteries. Another feature is this nice LED display. This display works great. When you're pressing the button and you're scrolling through your settings, you can see exactly where you're at. Let's talk a little bit about the adjustable headband or the headset. It comes with a forehead pad and then it's adjustable across the top and then it has an adjusting knob so that you can adjust the tension from the back. I like that the adjusting knob on the back is designed to be used with one hand because it's spring loaded and then locks in place. This helmet also comes with this little fine tuning mechanism. Once you put this thing back together and you adjust it, you can adjust the cant or the slant of the helmet to fit your face perfect. These two knobs on the sides of the headset are used to adjust the tension of the face shield. To give you a bird's eye view of a weld through this helmet, I put my iPhone inside this thing to make a helmet cam. The welder that I'm using today is my titanium MIG-170 welder. I did an unboxing and review video for this welder. I'll link to that video at the end of today's video. The first shade setting that I'm gonna be using is number 12. The shade setting on the helmet for that weld was number 12. Now I'm gonna turn the shade setting to number nine and I'm gonna make a second pass. Another really cool feature of the display is when you press the button, it's backlit. That way you can see all the numbers in low light. Before I give you my opinion on this helmet, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. There's a lot to like here. Is this thing safe? Well, it's ANSI certified. The weight is light, easy battery replacement, and that backlit display is pretty cool. The thing I don't really like about this helmet is the field of view, even though it's 9.3 square inches, to me, it just seems a little small. 
But for the price, right around a hundred bucks, it's hard to beat. I had a super coupon for mine, so I paid even less. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again. And if you want to get your hands on some really cool merch, go to MrFredsDIY.com.